Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and join me here once again in Hotel Magnate. And oh, I've just spotted, I've, I've made a slight change. We are more or less where we finished off at the last episode, uh, where I think I've just uh, got over all my guest frustrations caused by the latest major update to the game, which introduces guest expectations as well as proper budgeting and a whole lot of other stuff, which uh, if you haven't seen it, I do recommend going back to that previous video where I, I do sort of delve into a number of the major new updates that have just happened to get to the game. There has been a, a small update in the last uh, couple of weeks since the last episode I recorded, uh, but that's mainly just sort of a little tweaking and bug fixing of the stuff that came out with the big update. Uh, anyway, yes, so we've got over that. So we had a fairly successful night, actually. So successful that I've actually expanded my hotel slightly by adding another bedroom, which is this one here. It's another three-star bedroom. Just to keep things symmetrical, what I've done, rather oddly perhaps, is I've made my little staff room, utility room here, um, that much bigger. Goes the whole width of the hotel there. Odd, yes I know, but there you go. Anyway, ooh, hang on, right, let's uh, pause this. It is pause, isn't it? Uh, yes, I was in shift insert mode, which takes away the UI, including all the useful and really good looking pop-ups like this. Wow, 12 overnight guests. Is that all? I've got 21 rooms. Okay. But I had, over the last day, 25 positive reviews, so my total catalogue points gained is 37. Yes, which is so much better than we had in the last episode. Uh, yeah, the last episode was a few days of very poor performance, to say the least. And my rating trend? That's going up by 0.59%. That is almost almost 0.6%, which is impressive, well, compared to what I've seen previously anyway. Uh, so that's very good. So it means I can now start spending money from the catalogue, which is awesome. Now, we do have a new customer expectation. Oh, hang on. Now, when I came in to start this recording, I don't remember if we saw this in the last episode, but guests uh, sometimes or do appear to have these little blue icons above their head. Uh, which indicates a wish, an expectation, a desire. Uh, so they are looking for this experience. A rug in their bedroom. That's Catherine Carrico. Yeah, yeah but the gender is a strange thing in this game, to be honest. I mean, I would read that, to be honest with you, as a female name. But the portrait and indeed the character themselves uh, have characteristics, I would assume, uh, of, of, of a male gender, but I'm going to make no judgment on that whatsoever. And now that has got a time limit on it. Now, has that already turned up here? It has, yes. So I've got seven minutes in which to fix this. And if I go straight to their bedroom, which is this one here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the rug I've been putting in all the other three star rooms where people have complained. I'm not going to give them rugs unless they notice there isn't one. It's a little bit of a money-saving exercise on my part. So we'll take that. We will duplicate it. We'll slip you in there. We'll spin you around a bit like that. Doesn't need to be in perfectly the same position, but, you know, thereabouts. And that uh, desire has been met. Okay, so if we go back to Catherine here. There you go. And, yep, yeah, that, that's green. So that should help give them a positive feeling about staying in the hotel, which should lead to a positive review, which is good because that gives me more catalogue points, gives me more money, hopefully gets more guests coming in as well. Now, what's this expectation? I want to use a comfortable bed. Okay. Uh, so does that, that takes me to their room. Good. I think that's one of the things we've been missing in sort of previous builds of the game. There wasn't an easy way to sort of click between linked uh, uh, items like clicking between the room and the guest and the guest in the room and and so on and so forth it was sometimes difficult to sort of link the two together you had to go hunting them down so what's wrong with this bed then it's a three-star bed it's a good bed is there a better bed we could give them uh, actually now before I do that how many nights are you staying at my hotel Day one of one. So this is your first night. So this might actually be a comfortable bed for you. 
let's just see how they get on with it. Now, will, will we be able to tell this when they get in or when they get up in the morning, whether they had a good night's sleep? Are you going to change it? Yep. Yeah. Good! They've got a comfortable bed, so I didn't need to spend any money whatsoever on that. Okay, my catalogue points. 54 of them now in total. I had some left over from the previous episode because the stuff I'm getting into now is kind of expensive in terms of catalogue points. Uh, well, this stuff down here, the good stuff, 28, 30 odd points. A uh, great bedroom set, that gives me four star. I'm going to need that to get the four star guest reviews in to move up to five star. We can go to four star. I do have the ability to, ability to do that, but I just haven't built any four star rooms yet. What's my maximum number of bedrooms? That's that 21, isn't it? Yeah, now if I go there, that gives me an extra 15. Ooh. But in terms of stuff, I think I'm... Okay, I've got 20, 20 out of 26. I could get six more stuff. That might be okay. So I could put in a few more bedrooms along here, actually, couldn't I? What have I got? I've got 29 grand. Yeah, the only trouble there is electricity. I'm running very close to my maximum usage. I'm not sure I could... Oh, dear. Because how much do these rooms use so you're using uh, you're probably all off this uh, distribution unit here aren't you so that's uh, uh, so that's 15 30 60 yeah 75 that will take me over wouldn't it that's the two two thousand five hundred that is those all that kit is within the inner circle for that distribution unit so they are the least they use the least amount of electricity possible uh, so anything over on this uh, far left hand side for example would cost me something like 25 or something like that electricity which I can't really afford no we're not going to do that just yet we're not going to do that anyway I was going to spend catalog points wasn't I before we, <laughs> before I got diverted uh, increase maximum bedrooms not going to do that just yet Ooh, a water booster. That's the distribution unit for water, isn't it? Don't think I need that just yet. And this. Um, which one have we got in here? You're that one. Okay. Which means what? Okay, what if we were to replace it? Okay, so if I were to go for the, that, that's only 19 points. Okay, we'll unlock that. That looks kind of cooler, doesn't it? It looks, looks much more modern. We'll do that. Good dining set. Are these three star? These are three star. What do we have at the moment in our three star? Sorry, in our restaurant. Well, you're three star. I like the look of you better, to be honest. So, no, I'm not going to change that. So we're not going to do that. Good bedroom set. We'll unlock you. And I've got 14 to spend. Oh. <laughs> I could spend all that here on the wall decor pack. Oh, that's nice. Or wall textures. Oh. We'll take the wall textures. Once the game's finished saving. Uh, where was it? Wall textures. We'll take you. So that means I've got two left over for tonight. So, what new walls have we got? What do you think would, would work in a sort of gym environment? Any of these? Uh, your natural. Patterned, tiled. Oh, I quite like you. Yeah, we'll, we'll, um, we'll put you up there on all these walls. Apart from that wall separating out the swimming pool from the gym equipment. Oops, somebody else. 
Do you want a rug in your room? You probably do, don't you? Could I get a rug in my room? What's that? I wasn't able to fulfill my gambling need. Oh dear. Oh, well, never mind. We don't have any gambling in the hotel. I'm sorry. Right, we've met all your expectations, so you should give us a good review anyway. But let's go to your room. And a rug for you. Yeah, I'll go on then. Same old, same old. There you go. That's that expectation met. Lovely. I was looking at that electrical distribution unit, wasn't I? So, pause this for a second while we get rid of that one. So if I sell you by pressing delete, and this is the electrical stuff, is that you? It is. Okay. So you say five, the old one says five, so you say 10 for some reason. If I put you, oh, you do look much nicer. So we'll put you in a position where I'm not wasting too much of your reign. Like, say, there you are. Okay. Some art in my bedroom. You're right, there is no art. Now, there is a picture I've been using for most of these. That's it, that one there. So if we duplicate that and put you somewhere over here, like so, that need is met. We'll customize the color a little bit uh, from that rather strange purple to, yeah, that, that nice sort of dark color, dark red almost brown oh, what's that new review well that's interesting i don't remember seeing this before so uh where's that presumably oh we're on year two already okay so 28 days per year a hundred percent oh my oh we haven't seen th oh i think that's the okay apart from takako but then again he was here when i was um get into grips with uh, with the new system so that's that's explainable wow two 100% reviews that is so good everything was clean they got art their needs were met oh I'm liking this uh, another new review oh <laughs> so, okay so Rosetta wasn't quite so happy then you have been here for three days, three nights, so maybe that's what it is. That's disappointing. Is there anything that needs maintenance? Ooh, some showery stuff here, some bathroom stuff. Let's uh, get that tidied up. Can I get, uh, oops. Can I get the maintenance people out to deal with you? That's good. Okay, I'm not sure it needs two maintenance people to do that, but there you go. Oh, this dance floor needs repairing. Oh, as to that distribution unit. Again, the maintenance people will come and fix it once it gets into a very poor condition. Uh, but I, I like to get it dealt with before then. Oh, got two demands coming in. Upgrade this barbell. Ooh, okay. Fussy, fussy, fussy. Okay, so who is that that wants that done? Uh, Magda. Who? Ooh, okay. Who are you? Uh, that is you. Okay, you're a practice receptionist and you want the barbell. Okay, we can do that. Want to have a drink at the bar? Okay, we've gone for a meal instead, but hey ho, what the heck. Right, so this room, uh, the gym equipment. That's that barbell there. No, oh, it is one of the old ones, isn't it? Yeah, we can fix that. Oops, don't, don't scroll too fast, man. So we will uh, replace you with a gym equipment. That was the barbell rack. Where's the new one? Oh, that, that, oh, hang on. Oh, we got a three star one. 
which is the same as that, I think, isn't it? I will take you. Yeah, we're, we're a quality location, so we should have the best equipment. Yeah, I know I've not been saying that till, <laughs> till now, but so why hasn't that fixed? Why hasn't it fixed that? I'm just, I've, I think this is a, a glitch I've seen previously. I don't think we saw it when I was recording, but I, when I played on after the last episode, I think if you delete something they have an issue with and replace it or some or otherwise deal with their problem, it doesn't always fix their demand here, which is a little frustrating, but there you go. Uh, someone wants a rug. Okay, you know what I'm going to do, don't you? Yeah, we're going to take that. We're going to duplicate it. Slip. Oh, what a snazzy angle. Now, if I remember right, the latest update note says you can rotate things by 45 degrees now. Like that, by pressing Shift and R. That's nice. Well, we'll do that. Uh, like that. Nice quirky angle. Uh, another. Uh, two. Clean this. To Ooh. Oh dear. That does look very messy. Someone should clean that up. Do I have cleaners on staff on, on rotor at the moment? What is the time? It is 9.33 p.m. And staff, I need to look at the schedule. Yeah, we should have two people on. Hopefully someone will no, they're going to do other stuff. I mean, the waiters can do it, as you saw there, if, if you're watching very, very closely. Waiters do clean as well. Okay. Oh, this is not bad. Pretty much the same thing. 16 overnight guests now and 18 positive reviews. And our review rating trend is still going up. I like this. That gives another 34 points to spend. Um, someone... Okay, can I actually get someone to clean that. I can. Good. Okay, so this is the person that wants some art in their room. One that upgrade the lounger. What lounger? I can't. We dealt with that last time, didn't we? I don't I haven't unlocked the the high quality loungers yet. Uh, fitness need. Well, there's a gym, goodness sakes person, Juster, whoever you are. Okay, some art. Okay, so this is your room, I think, isn't it? Where's that picture that I use for everybody? There you go. We'll take that. We will duplicate you. Slip you in there. And we can colourise you. Just to make things a little bit, you know, distinctive. Ooh, this is a very curious colour, isn't it? Something bright. Yeah, like that. That's lovely and bright. So what's complaining? Is that... Oh, the barbell thing's been fixed. That's good to hear. Okay, catalogue points. Got 36 to spend. What? Got the good pool set. That's 32 of those. Could do that. And that, by unlocking one of these on this row here, means I can then, then have access to these, this row here, and I can unlock those. Let's do that. The lights will be cheaper. They are quite sophisticated and elegant, aren't they? But I think the pool set, people have mentioned that before. Well, you're a three star armchair, not a lounger, but well, two star is better than one star. That's what I've always said. So where's my loungers? Here we are down here. Oh, oh he's got a lead, lead on one. Yeah, I think that's the right word, isn't it? Okay, uh, so let's upgrade these. Um, yeah, well, I'll just delete all of them, I think. Actually, I should be able to... Can I... No, not that one. No, 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 no. That's it. I can now delete all of them. Yay! That works. That's cool. And we'll furnish some more loungers. So that's two star. Yeah, they're one star. There is a more sophisticated lounger you could have, but... Uh, yeah, we haven't got those yet. Do we turn that off? Then I can rotate. There you go. If I do shift rotate, that's that's yeah, that's probably 45 degrees, isn't it? Okay, that's good. Okay, so I'll put one there and another one like that. And finally. 
like so. That's cool. And they do all want to be different colours, obviously. this request upgrade this double couch it does look a little bit tatty doesn't it it's a one-star couch as well yeah that definitely needs upgrading get rid of that there's quite a lot of this uh, management of guest expectations to do <laughs> yeah I wonder if if got a really large hotel this might become a little bit overdone uh, so you might need some help on dealing with this, perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we will see as we go through, perhaps. And obviously the game is still very much uh, in development. I'll get rid of both those couches, in fact. So we want some couches. So we've got two star ones. Ooh, three star ones. I like I like Stripey. I, I must admit, I do... Ooh. You're a Halloween couch. You don't appear to have a star rating. No. Oh, I wonder. Actually, let's move. I want to move you in there. Can I move this painting? Oops. Now you see, I can't put it behind the chair now. That's frustrating, isn't it? Okay, we'll just cancel that move and leave it there. <laughs> so, furnish. Uh, let's put on one of these posh couches. Uh, you're a nice... Yeah. You look a bit... Actually, I'm thinking... Yeah, if we put you there... And what I'm going to do, well, I want to get this as 90 degree turn. Something like that. Move this out of the way. Somewhere like that. And we can put you... A bit like so. Perhaps. Yeah. No. We'll, move. we'll take you... And I'll move, move you to be somewhere like that. Like that. And you can go like that. That's cool. And then that piece of art can be placed there. Yeah, I think people should be able to sit in there. That's fine. A new review. Ooh. Blimey, it's 10, 10 o'clock in the morning already. <laughs> it's truth. Uh, good reviews. Waited too long at the restaurant, the lone plate. Want to use a shower. Mm. People do seem to mention that a fair amount, even though we've only got, what is this, six of these one-star rooms which don't have a shower. So they could use this public bathing area here, this public bathroom area. Well, let's get that fixed while I'm eating. There you go. So I was thinking, perhaps, put some shower facilities here in by the pool. Fix that. Now, have I got any room to build on here? I've got some room to make this bigger. So let's do that, shall we? showers. I don't really want to use the cheap and nasty shower. Could, ooh, use these actually. Oh, you need hot water. Ooh, that might be a problem. In fact, all, everything apart from the most basic sh shower wants hot water. Okay, we'll put this in here anyway. 
We'll put two shall units in like that. Okay. Uh, they're, they're not complaining, which is a very good thing indeed. But what we could do with is some wool. Just to hide a little bit from there to there and from there to there yeah a little bit of privacy yeah that will do I think okay paint that that's all done and could probably do with some don't need that. Get some tiled flooring in there. What have we got? I like the look of you. Uh, unfortunately, that, that wall's up, uh, not quite in the right place. That's annoying, but there you go. Now, I wonder if that will help with those shower demands. Actually, I'm just thinking, where are you going? Going for a swim. Could move these there, like so. That's a little bit more private, I think, isn't it? Now that, that flooring upsets me, so I need to move that wall to there. Right, I'm happy with that. I wonder if they'll use those showers anyway. Okay, we're doing quite well, I think. Uh, how's our reviews going? Uh, reviews, there you go. Really good. So we missed, I want you know, the shower thing. So where are we? Coming into the evening. How's our restaurant doing? Oh, we've only lost 10 quid so far. Uh, well, with any luck, it's uh, just gone 10 o'clock in the evening. We should start making money by the end of the day. Or should, should have the bar less so. I did actually change my supplier here because previously I had a one star supplier. But I've changed that now to heavy liquor, a three star supplier, which uh, means that my, uh, my drinks are that much more expensive. I mean, yeah, 12 quid, 15 quid. But then again, they cost me nine quid to get in. So th there you go. That's uh, that's what it is. But that still doesn't seem to help much. Oh, the loan plate is out of resource. <laughs> I was looking at that and I thought, like, you, you see this uh, number down here and it was five out of 20. And I thought that should be enough to be going on with. But clearly it wasn't. So I need another set of supplies order emergency supplies yep that's that done with so have you actually made money yet yes 30 quid 11 o'clock at night okay that alert's gone okay we're approaching midnight we should get our daily review right up oh 18 overnight guests excellent and 22 positive reviews, and our review trend is still on the up. 0.07%. So what can we spend our 44 catalogue points on? Uh, the great bedroom set, which gives me these four-star things. More wall textures, a great pool, a great bathroom set. All oh, this is all four-star stuff, isn't it? Now, what I want, I want to open a casino because I don't have any casino options available to me at the moment. Uh, but I need to spend all this before I get the choice of adding another facility into my hotel. So that's going to be a little while away. Well, you know what? We're going to leave that here for now, I think. Uh, we're going to let the guests uh, get back to bed. It's just gone midnight. And hopefully they'll all have a very peaceful night's sleep in the Ajax Desert Hotel, or is it Desert Ajax? I can never remember what I've called this thing. Hotel Desert Ajax, there you go. Uh, yeah, they'll all have a very restful and peaceful night in a lovely, comfortable bed. Oh, someone's complaining again. Clean this two-seater round table. It'll get dealt with. Well, that does look, two of them look very manky indeed, don't they? 
Anyway, yes. One, those, they, they'll get clean. Don't worry about that. There you go, you see. Yes, while my guests have a lovely, peaceful night, I will say farewell. And thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Hotel Magnate. If you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better. If you've got something to say about uh, how I can make this hotel better, more profitable, or sexier, or, or whatever a good hotel should be, or anything you feel like saying about the game at all, in fact, then please do just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these, or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Hotel Magnate, until the next time, Bye-bye for now.